All right, guys. So this is what's going on in today's video. Earlier today, I went to the downtown Grand Casino to eat their $7.77 burger special, right? Now, after I ate, right? Now, before I ate, I was watching the gambling, you know, blackjack and stuff. I said hi to the dealer that uh, I'm familiar with and everything. And I just watched for a while, no desire to gamble. I think I'm, you know, got that whole desire to start gambling thing licked, right? Especially with the table games, because it's like $5 minimum, guys. $5. All right, so, and then I went to eat, I came back out, right? And then I was like, all right, I'm already here. Let me do $5 into the video poker and see how I feel, right? So I went and I, you know, asked around to see the policy about recording your video, like slot session and stuff like that. No one had an answer because it was late at night. And so I then, no, I'll do it anyway. If they tell me to stop, I'll stop, right? So then I went and uh, I put five bucks in and this is how it went. All right, guys, so I got here five dollar. Let's see how I feel. Here we go. So I'm exploring my feelings here. So I'm going to play 25 cents at a time and I'll express my feelings as uh, the game progresses. So bet one. All right. I am feeling nothing. Pair threes. Now this is my own money, guys. This is gambling. It's not free play, which is not gambling. All right, so pair threes, nothing. Wow, that's pretty bad. Jack King, here we go, guys. I'm hoping for a royal flush. No. Man, that's three hands down. Pair aces. All right, looking for four aces. Good. All right. So, how do I feel now? It has been four hands. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm feeling pretty normal. There we go. King, queen. No. Nope. Just the queen. All right. It's going downhill, guys. Two pair. All right, back to four. You know what? Right now, I'm feeling like I hope it makes it back to five bucks, which is still reasonable because it's only four. It's not like gone way down. All right. Nope. It's, oh boy. Here, jacks. Come on, guys. Here, eights. Two pair. Now, I didn't think about my end point. I didn't set a winning goal or a losing goal. So I'm guessing that if I lose the five bucks, then, you know, that's that. And I'll see if I feel that need to chase it. And we're back, guys. So, one credit. There we go. Pair of tens. Two pairs, let's slow it down a bit here. Ace King. All right. King Jack. They're fours. Maybe. Nope. They're eights. To appear, aces. Now, at this point, 
I'm at 225, right? I'm getting the feeling that I want to up the bet so I can win quicker and get back to five bucks. Like, I'm getting that feeling, guys. See, I'm thinking, like, if I would have bet more, you know, uh, I gotta work on my, my mentality here. Ace Queen. Nope. Just the King. Nope. Now I'm glad I didn't up the bet because then I would have been losing. You know, like gambling plays with your mind, guys. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, nothing. Forget it. Come on. Pair Queens. Nope. Pair twos. Alright, two pair. Suited Jack Queen. Nope. Pair fours. Man, it's going downhill, guys. Pair kings. Boo. Pair fives. I'm a little bit upset at that. Pair of twos. Just the ace. Uh oh. I'm down to my last dollar. No. I haven't gotten anything really good. No full houses, no straights, no flushes. Uh oh. Pair nines. Uh oh. 50 cents left. Pair threes. And that's it. Right? The screen does that when you got no more money. Oh, that's it. It's over, guys. Lost five bucks. So how do I feel? I feel like playing some more somewhere to try to win this five dollars back. That's what I feel right now. Like I'm really feeling it, guys. I feel like maybe putting in a 20 on a different machine and playing a dollar 25. All I need to do is win four bets and I got my five dollars back. All right. Yeah, not like uh, the mentality. Now the mentality I want is to be like, oh well, oh golly gosh, my five bucks is gone. So uh, let's go do something else. And then like be not disturbed. That is what I'm trying to achieve. But I guess, uh, I mean, I guess I still feel the urge to chase. Oh well. Alright, back to the apartment. Alright guys, so I was sitting there. I was really, really feeling the need to keep playing. You know, I felt it guys. I should, I should leave, but I felt it. So, uh, yeah, it didn't end there. I went into my pocket, I took out a 20, put the 20 into the machine, and I chose double-double bonus poker, a riskier game. But I know that if I hit a quad, you know, it's a lot more. But you get paid the same as a pair for a two-pair. You know, pair of jacks are better, you know. And so, I played a little bit, it went down a little bit, and then I hit the quad. 30 something dollars, guys. Not bad, right? So I was like, terrific, you know? I can leave. No, I couldn't leave. I mean, I can physically leave, but I was sitting there, it's like, it's like, 
the call of the mermaid is like singing to me and just like so I kept playing I was only doing 25 cents I think I had really good self-control today because I I totally didn't up the bet to more than 25 cents a push of a button you know so yeah I was playing it went down to like 29 28 then I would catch like a full house or something, it would go back up and it go back down and go back up and went back down. And then I, after a while, I was like, where's that drink lady? You know, I, I've been sitting here, you know, like doing all this and not one drink lady came by, or at least not that I saw. Ooh boy, right? And, and, and then so I said, that's it. I'm going to cash out. So I cashed out the 30 bucks and I put it in my pocket. Then I was walking around and then I started reasoning in my own mind. It says, Danny the Medic, you know, you deserve a beverage for gambling that long. You know, so I went and put my money back into the machine and I sat there and I waited. No drink lady. And then I, then I said, forget it, forget it, right? I took took it out. And then I was walking back to the cash out machine and the drink lady goes, goes that way. I'm like, oh, there goes the drink lady. You know, so eventually, right, I sat back down and put the money back in and I pressed 25 cent one bet and I got a pair of kings or something. So I left it like that for like a good five minutes. I was like, where's the drink lady? And then, so then I cashed out, I, I, I uh, finished the uh, pair of kings and you know, I got my quarter back. So I withdrew the money and I went up to the drink lady at, at the, uh, it's like, just the waitress drink station at the bar where she places the orders and she and she gets it. I said, hi, is there a drink lady taking care of that section? And then she says, what do you want to drink? So I told her, I said, I'll be over there. And then she was so nice. Instead of tipping her the $1, I tipped the $2 because, you know, like, I know a lot of people out there tip $5, $10. You know, that's, that's not me. I usually tip $1 per drink because my drinks are easy. It's a can of something, a bottle or something, nothing that has to be mixed or made or anything like that. You know, it's usually just a bottle or something, you know? And so, oh boy guys, right? I got my drink and sat there and said, well, let me just enjoy my drink, right? So I put the money back into the machine. Lo and behold, I'm pressing it, nothing great. You know, it just ended up, it, it was a $20 bill. It ended up being $22. Then I'm looking at it, it's like, oh, that's the $2 I gave to the drink lady. So I cashed that out, and then, uh, I, slowly, then I just started walking around the casino. Uh, just like having my drink. And um, then as you know, I was watching some blackjack and stuff. Eventually then I poured the drink into a plastic cup and then I left. All right, because they, they don't allow glass bottles out on the street. And so, lesson learned today. I still felt the need to chase. Like I felt it to my bones. And then instead of getting up, you know, I went and, uh, uh, you know, I put more money in and I played, you know. It doesn't matter the outcome, guys. You know, I, I I had the feeling. So, now, I didn't need to start playing, right? I felt like I wanted to kind of, like, wanted to do this thing, but I didn't feel the need. Like, back in the day, when I would land the plane in Vegas, I would play the airport machine because I'm just like, oh, yeah, the check bag is going to take a little while let me just play a little bit of the machine i would get to the hotel right before i even check in i'm dragging the luggage oh let me just play a little bit first right and after i check in on my way to the room i'm kind of lugging all the luggage oh let me just play a little dude you know yeah i i, I had an issue with uh, wanting to gamble out of like uh, a regular day like I'm doing stuff but lately for the past uh, whole bunch of days like several weeks you know uh, I've been in plenty of casinos and I didn't feel the need to really 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 
like like you know that same level of need to do the gambling you know so that that i think that is mostly fixed so yeah that that uh not chasing thing all right so my original plan to lose five ten dollars or whatever and then force myself to quit that is going to be hard guys i think i should start smaller maybe i'll do nickel machine and they, they have some around here somewhere nickel machine lose one dollar and force myself to stop with a one dollar loss as you saw in, in in the during the play i was down a dollar i wasn't too upset but when i was down four or five dollars you know i i was feeling it guys i was feeling it so yeah more to come more to come guys yeah i kept their plastic cup this is iced tea Mm-hmm.